Despite their small size, these characters can kick some ass. I'll take that rifle. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 kids in video games. For this list, we ranked the most memorable and appealing child characters who first appeared in video games. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. Our age limit is 16, so if they're any older, they won't qualify. As usual, one character per franchise. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Number 10, Little Sisters, Bioshock and Bioshock 2. Somebody went and turned a sweet baby girl into a monster. Not all kids can be adorable. These little girls had their genetics altered to have them harvest a substance known as Adam, rendering them into terrifying but unforgettable yellow-eyed mutants. You're gonna need the Adam the sisters are carrying. More Adam, more plasmids. If you're lucky enough to defeat the genetically enhanced humans known as Big Daddies who guard each one, you can choose whether or not to harvest the little darlings and get lots of Adam, or save their life and get less. Whatever you thought about right and wrong on the surface, well that don't count for much down in Rapture. <laughs> Number 9, Pit, Kid Icarus series. You're not exactly inspiring confidence here. A lot of gamers were introduced to this angelic character through Super Smash Bros. Brawl, but he was fighting the evil goddess Medusa long before that. Although his 8-bit incarnation really didn't let much of his personality shine through, players got to hear Pit speak in Kid Icarus Uprising on the 3DS years later. Let's go! And speak he did. But at least those souls are being used in some other life. Hades and the other worlds have taken this too far. They've stolen so many souls that they're disrupting the proper balance of things. It's just like what Haridi says about humans disrupting the balance of nature. Number 8, Alma Wade Fear Series. Brute strength is something to be feared, but psychic abilities can have even worse effects. This girl was tested for all imaginable types of psychic powers when she was a young child, and she passed them all with flying colors. Unfortunately, the color she was most fond of flying was red, as in blood, so now it's up to you to stop her. That's easier said than done, as she often only appears in your line of sight for a mere second before vanishing in front of your very eyes. Number 7, Tails, Sonic the Hedgehog series. Let's get a move on! Even a hedgehog with super speed could use some help sometimes, and this fox is here for him. Also known as Miles Prower, he's a mechanical genius with two tails that can propel him in the air. Not only that, but they can attack enemies while he's in the air. He can also swim, which his pal Sonic can't do, making him extra helpful. That was just too easy! Plus, aside from Knuckles, He's the only one of Sonic's friends that doesn't piss us off. Number 6, Ness, Earthbound series. Don't be fooled by his small size. This boy is a force to be reckoned with. His psychic abilities, known as Psy, are enough to make his enemies cower in fear, or cry uncontrollably, as his Psy Flash does. He's also got weapons like a baseball bat or a yo-yo, if he'd rather just bash their brains in. He's not a completely unstoppable killing machine though, as he does need to call home whenever he's feeling homesick. Number 5, Sora, Kingdom Hearts series. Oh, oh. <laughs> This guy can get a little whiny, but his commitment to save his friends is enough to get him on this list. He's also got the impressive capability to wield the Kingdom Key Keyblade, which comes in handy when he needs to take out enemies like the Heartless. Come on. Plus, he's friends with Mickey Mouse. How cool is that? Number 4, Ellie, The Last of Us. Any sudden moves and I put one right between your eyes. Ditto for Buddy Boy over there. You'd have to be tough to survive a zombie apocalypse, and this young teenager certainly has a thick skin. Well, I'm sorry. I trust him better than I trust myself. Stop with the bullshit. What are you so afraid of? She needed to grow one when her mother died when Ellie was just one day old, leaving her to face the ravaged world as an orphan. I don't like company. Thankfully, the protagonist Joel comes to escort her across the country, but she's very helpful to him along the way by pinpointing enemies. And if push comes to zombie, she's able to hold her own in a fight against the infected. You had another gun? 
Sorry. Number three, Jimmy Hopkins, bully. What'd you say about me? Whoa, nothing, no, no, no. All I said was that you had to be pretty dumb to get expelled from so many schools, that's all. As the title of this game suggests, this character is a bit of a punk, but it certainly makes him entertaining. Jimmy Hopkins, and don't ask how I'm doing. I've been here five minutes and already people want me dead. He's been expelled from every school he ever attended, but he arrives at Bullworth Academy, the game's setting, seemingly unafraid to get in trouble. Uh, uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. What? Really, it's his enemies who should be afraid, because he's got impressive fighting abilities with his hands and feet, as well as weapons like the Spud Cannon. Give him a Give him a oh, Number two, Clementine, the Walking Dead series. We all got split up. I was with Pete, but... This title is widely considered to be one of the best examples of storytelling in gaming, and that's due in large part to the powerful relationship this character forms with the convicted killer, Lee Everett. Oh. Her wide eyes make you sympathetic to her right off the bat, but it's her plucky personality and remarkable courage that make her unforgettable. Only a girl with serious bravery could make it through a zombie outbreak, without her parents. It's a long story. Clem especially shines in the second season, where she has to take on a more direct role. You're fine. You're fine. Just look at me, okay? You're, you're fine. Keep your voice down! But you just yelled at me! Shut up! Before we get to our number one, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Kids worked up quite a thirst by now, so that fountain looks real inviting. Number one, Young Link, The Legend of Zelda series. There have been a lot of great video game kits, but this green clad warrior easily fought his way to the top of our list. We were impressed by Link once he aged, but he showed us that he could be feared even as a child. In Majora's Mask, he didn't even need to wait to grow up until he was able to single-handedly stop the moon from crashing into Termina. And then there's the Wind Waker version, where he could easily sail the vast, dangerous ocean solo. No, there's quite literally no other kid that has accomplished what Link has done. Do you agree with our list? What is wrong with you? Which child character did you want to adopt? Everyone I have cared for has either died or left me. For more adorable top tens published daily, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.